Did you watch any of the Ryzen tournament or the Ryzen fights uh, online? I watched Gabby's whatever, whatever, not fight, whatever that was. Gabby's fight against the 50 something year old pro wrestler? Yes. Man, maybe we can get, you know what? A few more years, we can get Oldie Hawn a shot over Ryzen. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fight Gabby Garcia? That shit was, I mean, even by Japanese standards, that was a what the fuck? Really, really, really fucking bad. Whoa, whoa. It was, um, it was, okay, so people don't know, Gabby Garcia is a, a a woman who is a like 10 or 12 time jiu-jitsu world champion. She is 6'2 or 6'3. 230. 230 pounds of solid. A stacked. No, 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 no. That that was Chris Cyborg. Um, no, way bigger. She is. She makes Chris look fucking tiny. And she yeah. and she fought a fifty-something-year-old former pro wrestler who is five eight and one hundred and eighty pounds, maybe one hundred and eighty pounds of a fat old woman. That's all it was. And she fucking beat the shit out of her in all of forty-five seconds. It was scary. Yeah, it was weird and scary. But it's Japan. It's it's a freak show. But even for Japan, it was like, whoa, Japan! Yeah, Come exactly. on, guys. <laughs> A um, little bit of a mismatch there. Let's move on. Heath Herring fought. Yes, he fucking did great. Yeah, he fought the he I, fought I, the I, dude I who was the he was a, a world, uh, Iranian dude who's a champion, a world champion in Greco. Yeah, who the guy the guy that made it to the finals with Krogan, yep. right? Yes, and Heath actually made it a pretty. It was pretty close. Good. It was a it was a pretty evenly matched fight. Uh, that dude took Heath down in the first round and just spent five minutes of just going crazy on ground upon yeah. Heath, almost finishing Heath, but Heath hung in there. And the second and third round, Heath kept was getting stronger. Yeah. The longer the fight was going on, Heath was doing better, and uh-huh. Heath, Heath was getting him on the feet at the yeah. end of the fight. It was good. It was a good fight. So, yeah, he lost the decision, but uh, Heath Herring had a good showing. Um, the legend, yes. Maha Hayato Sakurai, fought. Yes. yes. He had a, a win against a, a guy who, had, who, had, who was a pro wrestler, but also had about 25 MMA fights. Um, what about Crone? Crone Gracie, he won... Uh, Kawajiri. Yes, Kai B. No Kawajiri. joke. Yeah, he, and he, he, fuck, that That was really impressive. Third. That's his third or fourth fight. Yeah, and he, and he submitted everybody. <laughs> he beat Kawajiri. Um, Rear have, naked? have you ever trained with Crone? Crone? No, I have not. I trained with Crone. Crone is one of those guys... Crone or Crone? Crone. Okay. Um, he... Is a guy that you will know exactly what he's doing as he's doing it. Yeah. And you can't, can't stop can't him. Can't stop him, yeah. You're just like, oh, you're 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 gonna yeah. you're, you're passing the side mount. Oh shit, there you are. <laughs> okay, you're about to take my arm, aren't you? Okay, you're gonna do it. You're gonna armbar me right now, aren't you? Okay, he, you are bar me. He's one of the best he, jujitsu guys ever. I mean, there's like the Mendez brothers yeah. who do this really high yeah. advanced technical Crazy sport, shit that, that sport, you, you don't even know what just happened. Exactly. I'm like, what the fuck? Crone's opposite. You yeah. know exactly what the fuck's yeah. going on, but you just yeah. can't stop him. Like he just that he's so good at fundamentals, you're just like, God damn. He's like, he's like his dad. Yeah. Um and Crone <laughs> Crone is so funny. He has this like weird attitude that kind of like his dad. Like he, I mean it's entertaining. The Japanese like it, so I mean good for him, you know. I'm cool with it. So uh congratulations to him. Beating Kawajiri, the crusher on your yes. third or fourth fight is and, no and joke. You're, you know, you're you're the son of of the greatest jujitsu practitioner pretty much of all time. I mean I've actually trained with Hickson before yeah, too. H- Hickson Hickson Gracie is uh you know, besides Holes, who was his trainer, it is looked yep. at is looked at as, as the uh the, the greatest is Holus the one that died in the hang, hang yes. accident? Yes. Yeah, they yeah. said he was the best one. They said he was the best. He was the one that really transformed jiu-jitsu and, and brought in American wrestlers. Yeah. He's the one that started Judo the, the guys, Brazilian. Yeah, Sambo I mean, guys. He, 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 he expanded the practice of jiu-jitsu immensely, and, and Hickson was his, was, his, was his little buddy. He was his little protege. He, he didn't do it to me, but I was in the room. I trained with Hickson before. Yeah. He, he went through like eight people with his hands in his belt. <laughs> he tucked his hands in his belt. Laid on his back, so come in my guard, and he was tapping people. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, he's he's that. And I'm sure other black belts and shit. Um, Crow Cop. Yes, Crow Cop. God he, damn. He, he won, he won a, a tournament 10 years. He won the Ryzen tournament 10 years after he won the Pride, Pride Open Weight. The Pride Open Weight Grand Prix and then retired. Love it. It's fucking incredible. Uh, good, man, for, good for him. He looked good. Yeah, and he I'm beat, sure he, he made beat, a buttload of money. He beat King Mo. Uh-huh. Not, he beat yeah, Baruto, TK. that guy Baruto, yes. who, I mean, he's not going to make 265. No, the guy's a super heavyweight. But he's really, he's pretty fucking athletic for a guy yeah. who's like 330. Or, no, he was almost 400 pounds. He's, four, yeah, he's 400 pounds. He's, he's six, like 380, six, 390. He's 6'6", six, six, yeah, and, and 400 pounds. He was, he's a former sumo. He, but but he's a big white sumo. He's a big white guy from he's, like he's from Lithuania. Lithuania, and he's a he's a fucking stud. He is a very, I mean for a four hundred pound dude, he's athletic. Yes, 
So six, good for six, him. Six, four hundred pounds. And he speaks fluent Japanese. They love that shit. You go to Japan and fight in Japan. You speak fluent Japanese. They love it. Yeah. And then Kuro Cop beat the uh, the wrestler, the Greco guy, um, that was training AKA in Thailand. Yeah. Kuro Cop. Hitting, dropping people with knees and punches and kicks. He's a, he still look good. Hey, I'm all about yeah. J- Japan. Open juice. Exactly. Crow Cop is the man. Yes. It's, a, it's a scary individual. <laughs> you know, like, that, that's where you want to see TRT Vitor over there. That's where Vitor should go. It's so funny because people forget. Like, I mean, <laughs> where do you think the name Crow Cop comes from? People don't really understand. Obviously, he's from Croatia yes. and he's and a cop. He's a but cop. do you know what kind of cop he is? Special forces. He no, he's an anti. Right. He, yeah. He's an anti-terrorism. A SWAT team commander. He's a murderer. And he I don't know bad, how much you know about Croatia <laughs> and like, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, there was a lot of terrorism going well, and on. And now, now he's, now he's, he's a, uh, he's some sort of diplomat now. He's, a, he's in Congress or yeah. the Senate or whatever their version is over but, there. But, but 15 years ago, he was, he was one of the head guys. He was fucking killing terrorists. hundred yes. percent. He killed a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. Guaranteed. So, uh, there you go. Crow cop. So, have, have, uh, you, have you seen the video of him, uh, getting in an ice bath? And he starts he starts crying. Uh uh-uh, uh, is it real? <laughs> Dude, he he starts actually crying. Oh, it's real. In an ice bath. Yeah. And he gets out and they shove him back in and it's so fun. But he starts crying. It's fucking amazing. That's how much ice baths suck. Uh, 